So if you feel like you've now built yourself quite a nice golf swing, the question might be, well, when do I use that swing? Or when do I use another swing or a different swing? Well, really, we want to use largely the same swing all of the time. And I do sort of prefix this with largely because you will watch the golfers on the TV and you will see that you can tell whether McElroy's hitting a wedge and you can tell when McElroy's hitting a driver because he puts a bit more into one than he does the other. But largely speaking, the swing should be the same most of the time. I've got myself a sand wedge here, so I'm going to change a couple of key parameters and let's discuss those. I'm going to change my ball position. We're going to play the ball in the centre when we've got a sand wedge. I'm going to play the distance from the ball slightly differently. I'm going to position it just above my left knee. From that position, my takeaway, halfway back, top position, transition, impact, extension and follow through are going to be largely the same. I certainly don't want to be leaning back and scooping one or driving onto my front leg and losing my balance too much. I don't want to be swinging massively long or massively short just because I've got a sand wedge. If I'm chipping, it's different. But if I'm hitting full sand wedges, full pitching wedges, my setup, my swing, my follow through is going to be largely the same. As I change to a seven iron now, the changes are ball position slightly different distance away from the golf ball is the same but the club is longer so yes I'm slightly further back ball position slightly ahead of center the posture the grip the movement back the follow through the hold the balance the pose that's all the same as it was before with the sand wedge and lastly the fun one the driver this time we're going to change the ball position so it sits right up against the lead in steps it's right up against my front foot I'm going to position the distance away from the ball the same as it was before, just above my kneecap, like it was with the seven, like it was with the wedge. This time I'm going to make the same takeaway, halfway, top position, transition and smooth through to a good balance position. And I hold my balance all the time the ball is in the air until it lands. And with that principle, that's how I'd like you to consider that your swing should largely be the same, whether you've got a driver, a seven iron, or a sand wedge, or any other full swing in your bag. Make those slight changes to ball position, make those slight changes to distance away from the ball, but the fundamentals of the swing, the follow through, and the balance, I'd like you to try and make sure they're the same swing for every club in the bag.